Okay, welcome back. The game is still free for a little while. And now, look at that guy there. He looks cool. Like a Japanese or Chinese guy. With the outfit, not by other looks. Otherwise, it looks like a American man with the tattoos of axes. Boats? I don't know what those are. And this room looks pretty cool as well. Didn't really notice that last time. It's okay, I'm gonna continue. Dog? Very bored, dog. Do what? Oh, he probably got a level. Okay. I want a level as well. I wonder what is my actual mission. How can I zoom way out? Map. Oh, press right button. Talk to RK and some. Oh, right there. I just can't see stuff sometimes. Also, I run a little funny. It's okay. We are not all perfect. That's pretty cool outfit. This guy again? Oh, did I miss something? <laughs> oh, I have to speak to you. Damn. You don't like me, do you? And what? You look so weird and small. Ah, Outlander. Lord Vivek trusts too much to put his faith in one such as you. Well, oh, thanks. My God. I suppose he sent you to me so I could put you to work. Did he say which task he wants us to accomplish first? Why do I need to talk to you? Ah, yes. We do need to perform a ritual to reveal the nature of the... phenomenon that vexes Lord Vivek. Now listen closely. I hate to repeat myself. Same. Despite my objections, Vivek believes you were sent to help, so I'll do my best to assist you. Go to the ziggurat that's still under construction and tell the overseer that Lord Vivek requires the Blessing Stone. Then bring it to me in the palace. You receive a simple errand in the service of Lord Vivek and countless questions form unbidden in your mind. Very well. Go ahead. Ask your questions. It's not like I'm the busy arch cannon of a living god or anything. <laughs> You think very highly of yourself, man. This would be a good thing to ask, but uh, I'm just gonna be silent and do my thing. Okay. So, explore, huh? Oh, never mind, this way. Wow. That's kind of cool and lame at the same time. Come on, dude, you need to work on your stamina. Oh, by the way, how do I get there, though? Oh, I don't. 
Hi. This project has been nothing but one disaster after another. How am I expected to get this ziggurat built on time when things constantly go wrong? Don't mind me. I'm just having one of those days. One? I have pretty many of those days. But go on. Our blessing stone? Do you know what happens if we give up our blessing stone? Well, neither do I. But I'm sure it won't <laughs> put us back on schedule or end our string of disasters. I'm not one to disagree with the arch cannon, but that's a terrible idea. I like you. A lot more than arch, arch cannon. Lord Vivek, well, why didn't you say so? But I'll need your help before I can turn over the Blessing Stone. The passage that leads to the Consecration Chamber collapsed, trapping some of my workers. If you can clear the way, you can borrow the stone. I appreciate the help. Just remember that you're only borrowing the stone. It needs to be back in the consecration chamber before the next shift, or we'll never get this ziggurat constructed in time. Wow. Suddenly you people are trusting me quite a lot. Really? Oh, you're checking things. I thought you were honoring me. How far are these workers? Oh, just somewhere in here. Lady? What kind of people you have hired? They're almost all dead. Like... Damn, dude, you just smashed in the face. I mean, what are you doing? What the hell? You okay? What the hell? Um Thank you. I'll go tell the overseer what you did for me. Perhaps you guys should stop. Good. And it looks very valuable as well. I don't want to though. I can't seem to get ahead here. You're complaining? Oh you're complaining when another one is dying or something. Some of these people are not too nice. Yeah? Hear that? You're gonna shovel the rocks? To the, <laughs> to the next wall? Seriously, these people are horrible workers. I know I'm not too good myself, but damn! Oh, already lost my way. Hey. It looks like you cleared a path through the debris and rescued my trapped workers. Thanks for that. Feel free to take the blessing stone. We'll begin making repairs to the damaged area shortly. Well, yes, the second one and uh, no, the first one. I didn't really clear anything. What? It's like a zoo in here. Oh, I need to do something. How do I get there, though? From here. Oh, yeah. Take. Nice. Wanted to speak that one guy again. Do I?
Oh, I don't. Never mind, I do. But for some reason, he's now here. Please, Vivek. The Outlander returns. I understand there was trouble at the construction site, but you were able to save a few of the workers. Lord Vivek always draws the straightest arrow from the quiver. Praise the tribunal. Did you bring the blessing stone? What do you think? Oh. To the warrior poet and reveal the source of Lord Vivek's distress. An Ashlander? A of mage? A Daedric cultist? Damn. Something interfered with the ritual, my lord. But we may have learned something. Excuse me while I compare the results to our previous research. That was like a movie. Okay. Between the cryptic warnings of the ancestor spirit and the unexpected result of the divination ritual, I fear there may be more astir than I imagined. We solved the greatest mysteries by accident, I suspect. Hmm. I should write that down. Oh, you're a god and you need to write something down? We learn from every action we take. Failure or success, each result teaches us something. At least in the larger sense. To be more specific, no. Not as much as I hoped. Hmm. Images that suggest avenues to investigate, riddles to solve. Let me tell you a secret, Outlander. It concerns a living god and energy that fades like daylight as dusk spreads across the land. I really don't understand. Listen well, and speak not a word. My divine energy, it drains away. Whether from illness or foul malady, I know not. You must travel the land and seek answers on my behalf. But first, gratitude before service, as I have written. So thank you. Thank you. The ritual confirmed my worst fears. Divine energy flows out of me for no reason that I can discern. I felt the power imbued within my blessing stone get wrenched away as soon as you added it to the ritual. I couldn't stop it. To quote my own words as the warrior poet, no lock exists that the determined thief cannot open. Follow the trail of my missing energy and try to discover the identity of the enemy Lavul's ancestor warned us about. So... You don't really seem like a god by the things you say. But I am. Kind of. Um, yeah, let's chill level up. Cool. Yes! <laughs> I was. F forget about that. Yeah, let's still go with the HP. What? I can take two. Very nice. Okay, come in. Wow. Oh. 
I guess I could use that. Oh, very nice. I still doesn't know what I'm gonna use though. Unlock to use my hands, so I haven't picked that one yet. And I'm not sure am I gonna use this one either? Because I usually don't use defensive tactics. Well, I guess I'm good for now. Where do I need to go? Do I even have a quest? I don't think I do. Hey, guy. The ritual confirmed my worst fears. Divine energy flows out of me for no reason that I can discern. Oh, I already heard this. To quote, something drains my energy. Find Archcanon Tarvis in his office and ask if he gleaned anything useful from the ritual. If not, I know his earlier research indicated new avenues to investigate. Go where he tells you and learn what you can. My divine energy diminishes there we go the passing moment but the ritual confirmed my affliction is not natural I regret that I could not reveal the full nature of these dire circumstances until your trustworthiness had been demonstrated <laughs> this is true yes while Archcanon Tarvis has always been cautious about ideas and ideologies that didn't originate within the tribunal and recently, that prudence has grown a thousandfold. He's a faithful servant, however, despite his narrow mindedness. Oh, he got roasted right there. Yeah. I understand that they're kind of like a trying to build the story. But as a new player, I just wanna, you know, do stuff, something cool, not to speak these old people. Like, hey, that was a door, and hey, this is an ugly face. I performed that ritual countless times, and it never exploded in my face before. <laughs> if I discover that you sabotage the divination, oh. You screwed up, man. Don't blame me. My failure out on you. It's not your fault that things are. Yeah. Difficult. Thanks for that, though. How do you know about? Lord Vivek told you. Of course he did. It's his prerogative, I suppose. You must swear to keep this secret, though. There would be panic in the streets if the people believed one of the tribunal was incapacitated. It's true. I'm much better at scholarly pursuits than field work. And the ritual wasn't a total failure. It confirmed three locations from my earlier studies. Balmara, Aldrin, and Berazar's Tower. I need you to investigate each of these sites. Sure. Hmm. Okay, there. There and there. Now it feels like an actual quest. I like it. I like it a lot. And what? Oh. Wait a minute. What the? Some UFO stuff. Okay. I wonder what kind of inn is this? I would really need a horse. Probably now.
I usually don't care about stories in MMOs. Never usually. And very many times I think they are very bad. But I think this one isn't that bad. Wait a minute. Oh, I can get out of here. I'm not gonna do all the side quests. Major skill. I wonder where that takes me though. Wait a minute. Are you the stable master? You look like you know your way around a riding beast. Try one of my fine mounts on for size and see if you don't agree. You won't find better anywhere in Morrowind. Thanks, man. Fuck. Never mind. This might take just forever. I'm probably just gonna walk there, so... See you in there. Okay, I think I'm getting very close. Yeah. So I wonder what this is. Hmm. Really? <laughs> that didn't really work. You ain't gonna do shit. Oh damn! I wanna use this skill. Well, they are both dead now. Yeah, I do need to discover things in here. Well, I can Skyrim. And I guess in Oblivion too, although I have kind of forgot about that. You there, Outlander. I have a proposition for you. Good. I'm not gonna do that yet. Oh, oh, hello. Yes. I think that was the final piece. What is this? Major skill? Cool. Yeah, I'm getting a little sidetracked. That's fine. Oh, I can get in from there. <laughs> that was cool. Here I am. I thought this place would be. I can't believe they want us to go outside the Filled with enemies. Okay, okay, it's right here, I think. Okay. Um. Oh. Thankfully, it tells me where to look. Otherwise, this would be taking forever, pretty much. Really? From here? Oh, come on now. That can't be invisible wall. Yeah. This one needs to get out of here. Those cultists, they're insane. All right, but keep your voice down. I'll be ready to leave soon enough. In the meantime, if anyone asks, you're just here to haul cargo. Do I need to speak to you? Hey man. What? Who? Oh, this one is just here to haul cargo. <laughs> yeah, right. Cultists? 
But this one said nothing about cultists. Perhaps you are thinking of another Khajiit. Uh -huh. Renak who just wants to leave all these crazy dark elves behind and find a safer mine to work in. The Shulk or mine is cursed. I don't want to do this. Really? You? Just leave Renaku out of it. Really? If you want to know what happened so badly, just go out to the Shulk or mine and see for yourself. Oh, come on, dude. Oh. You annoying little man. Or cat. Not to be racist, but he's cat. Facts are facts. Ooh. This looks like a portal. Or just a nightclub, I don't know. Whoa. That is actually really cool painting. Wouldn't f mind to have one of those myself. Hi, lady. Yeah, this is definitely a portal. I love seeing new faces. For a while, it was just the same old miners and the occasional traveling merchant. Thought Carolon might have to shut this place down. Look at me talking your ears off. What can I get you? Hopefully nothing much. At first, I assumed it was the usual house squabbles. Redren and Halalu arguments can get pretty heated. Then I thought maybe the Ashlanders were scaring people off. But after that proclamation... No, I'd rather not talk about that with a stranger. Really? That's pretty much a lot. And for you especially. Come on, lady. I'm trying to save lives here. I'm sure you do, but I have to live here, you know? Look, Fuck. there's nothing I can tell you. If the houses ever found out I told an outlander about our troubles, maybe one of the miners will be more willing to talk to you. Fucking fuck. I like the color of your gold, Outlander. Just between us, I heard the house guard shut down the Shulk ore mine. Something to do with violent cultists who attacked the miners and took over the place. Even got the crew chief, or so I heard. Let's never meet again. I wish I could, you know, tell her what Jesus said. All are welcome, so come in and enjoy. <laughs> I thought she was slapping my face. By the way, I want to know what you're selling. Nothing too interesting. Can I sell you stuff? Oh yeah, I probably should repair my stuff. Sure. I've lost so much coins in this place. How many do I have these? One? Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, I only have five. And I need seven or ten. Oh, when did I have this? I don't need them though. Not of this, I think. Hopefully this isn't something that relates to the story. Now, I mean, come on. I need room and also cash. Because this place really robbed me.
There we go. Next clue. Is it here? Wait, what? It's probably not. So it's outside? Okay. That's fine. There's pretty many quests in this town as well. Ow! Stupid dog! What happened? <laughs> Let me see. I just tried to pet it. Damn dog bit me. Leave it alone. There's something strange about that dog. Hello. Wait a minute, was that some kind of accidental quest? If I would follow the dog, it would lead me to somewhere? Because that noise that I just heard. Perhaps it's a wolf. It looks like a dog. What are you doing, man? You shouldn't be here. Didn't you read the House Redoran proclamation? I wouldn't be here myself, but... Some of my miners are still in there. Mm -hmm. Our mine was invaded by violent cultists. They showed up and, and just took the place over. My people are trapped. I'm no expert, but it looked like the cultists were preparing to conduct a ritual before the Ashlander interrupted them. How many rituals are there? What is the shortest one to just get going? Probably because I heard one Damn. of them say, With this ritual we'll call forth a mystical weapon and attain the power of a god. Or something along those lines. Look, <laughs> I was just trying to get me and my miners out of there when the Ashlander showed up. Yeah, that sounds like a ritual, alright. Really? That's awfully brave of you. Saw that face? If you see any of my miners, tell them to get their arses out here. I'll wait as long as I can. Or until I hear screaming. Then I'll go to Balmora and try to find some help. Good luck in there. Sure. I'll try to get their arses out there. Ugh. Shalk or my. Where have I heard that before? Shulk. Pretty much I'm sure it's some kind of anime character or game. So... Okay. Oh, hello. That was fast. See that? Fastest thing ever. What the? What the? Oh yeah. The fire damage. This way. What is that? Come on. Soul gem. Nice. Oh, hello. This game feels a lot more alive when there's actual people in here. I say we go out and slaughter every Ashlander tribe in Vardenfell. Uh huh. They have such a cool looking armor, but they're not. Oh, damn. 
They're not that bad. Your heal didn't really work, man. Hi. You don't look like one of those crazy cultists, and you certainly aren't one of our miners. So by Vivek's holy nose hairs, who in oblivion are you? Well, you look pretty buffed from the... You know... Arms. Really? Then forget I said anything about his holiness nasal preening. They're some sort of Daedric cultists. They've been performing rituals, calling forth divine power, some such nonsense. At least they were, before the Ashlanders showed up. The savages barged into the deep chambers, seemed to know about the hidden passage and everything, stole the relic the cultists were praying over, and ran for the hills. As a matter of fact, that's where I'm going, as soon as it's safe to leave. Um, I think it is. What? Okay, perhaps it's not. Really? I thought he was gonna, you know, pull up like an axe or something and smash the wall. <laughs> but just to push it? Sure. There we go. Oh, damn. I think I'm gonna follow this chick. What? She's knowing what to do. Probably. Push the wall. What? Ow. Well, she kind of helped me, so... I didn't really loot anything in there. Because I think I'm a Nord. Shouldn't I have started like a, from a Skyrim? Did you find what you were looking for in the mine? Of course. I perfectly understand. I think I'll wait a little longer and see if any of my miners were able to escape from the cultists. Good luck with your mission. Whatever it is. Same, man. Whatever it is. Oh, that's pretty far, dude. I'm just gonna run there. Okay, I'm middle of wave to there. But, uh, I gotta wonder what is this? Nilthog's Hollow. Probably something dangerous. Is it this? No. Okay. I just want to check this out. I wonder how long they also chase you if somebody sees you. Wow, is that like a field boss? Totally, yeah. I might die first time right now. Hi, Nilthog. Wanna die? Oh shit! Great start. Am I even able to kill it? Damn, damn! Run! Oh yeah, it's fast also. Goodbye. Oh shit, he's in a has an army. Totally bad idea. He 
didn't lose even HP. Oh shit. Let's fight, I guess. Damn it. There we go. Oh shit. Sorry for that. I wish I could just take him and have it as my pet. I would really like to do that because I killed his mother or father, I don't know. Oh, it's not a rune stone. And I'm also pretty close, I think. What? That's cool. Okay, guys, what's happening? I demand to see my brother. Lay hands upon me, and you will lose them. Yeah. Oh, damn. You there. The territory <laughs> of the Red Exiles shouldn't be traveled lightly. You didn't really need any help. Ashlanders once respected each other, helped one another. You'd think these were house wolves or tribunal dogs, the way they treated me. Speaking of the tribunal, you have the smell of dog about you. I wonder what? why that is. Lord Vivek, is it? And I thought all the tribunal cared about was building monuments to their own greatness. Nice to see that one of them cares about what's going on beyond their borders. Well, Perhaps we can aid each other this day, Outlander. Ashlanders are nomads, but we gather at sacred sites to trade, confer, and pay homage to the past. Aldrin is such a place. That's why Chodala invited the Red Exiles here. But these outcasts won't let me into their camp. I need to find my brother. Why do I care who it is? My brother, Chodala, is the Ashkan of our tribe, and I am his ambassador. I act as a go-between among the tribes. Chodala wants to unite the Dunma, and calmly end the era of the bickering houses. He hopes to convince the tribes to follow his lead. This is the right thing to ask. What do you mean to do? Head into the Red Exile's camp and find my brother. Otherwise, see if you can find out what he was doing in there and where he's gone. Be wary of the outcasts. As you saw, they won't hesitate to attack without reason or provocation. I'll go. Chodala went to meet with the Red Exile's leader and hasn't returned. If I enter the camp and have to kill any of those foolish outcasts, it could have serious repercussions for our negotiations. Find my brother and I'll help you with your quest. No one in this land doing anything for themselves. Well, I guess that's MMO for you. Hello, boys. Down. Whoa. Oh, shit. Kill the master and the beast dies as well. I know that shit. Ah. What? The rope is better than my armor. Okay. Oh, well, I was looking at that like look like a katana. That would have been amazing. Who the hell are you? Oh, just a rogue. Hmm. Ginger. Okay. I'm tempted to take this. Wait a minute. Oh. It's not Skyrim, man. I don't know. Ooh, I needed to be here. I'm stealing from 
Thieves? That's what you want to call yourself. Oh, damn, she hit me. Oh, damn, I can't. Oh, you're like me, Dragonborn. I thought I was unique. I'm not. There you are. You seem to have survived your visit to the Red Exiles camp. Did you find my brother? Interesting. I never suspected that the outcasts were disciplined enough to keep records such as this. Oh no. I can't believe my brother would be so... brazen. It means that Chodala really has changed. With his newfound powers and rising ambitions, I fear what he plans for the tribes. I suppose you have a right to know what I'm talking about. Take this. I found it among my brother's possessions. Chodala discovered new power out in the wilderness, and it changed his view of the world. He writes about it in that document. Now he believes he's the Nerevarin, and incites the tribes while I tried to keep them all from doing anything rash. Uh, do I need to really ask this? You don't know? I thought... No, you're not an Ashlander. And the house elves rarely talk about such things. Long ago, there was a hero named Nerevar. He fought alongside the tribunal, before they claimed to be gods. Until they betrayed him. So our legends say, Nerevar united the Kaima and forged an alliance with the Dwemer. He died at the Battle of Red Mountain. We believe the Tribunal hastened his demise, despite Vivek's claims to the contrary. The Nerevarin is a promise and a prophecy. We believe that, through the power of Azura, Nerevar will return to unite all Dunmer, House and Ashlander alike, and make Morrowind great again. The returned Nerevar <laughs> will be known as the Nerevarin. Make Morrowind great again. Okay. This is probably stupid to ask because, yeah, she would probably go with her or him, and, uh, yeah. All I know is that his new power frightens me. Chodala returned from a sojourn in the wilderness more vibrant, more commanding. He's always been strong, but now he's fearless, practically invincible, and swifter than the fastest Ashlander scout. Oh, I doubt about that. Chodala says his new abilities strengthen his claim as the Nerevering. I think it's the staff he carries. He had it when he returned, and now it's always at his side. I know it's unreasonable, but I hate that staff. He calls it Sunara. That really sounds like, a, you know, Egyptians. Egyptians? I say. Anyway. Hmm. Alt room. Okay. So that's the last place. That's a long way to go. So see you there. Okay, I found something called Sky Shard. I gotta check this out. Extra skill points. Very nice. By the way, while I'm here, sometimes this game is just gorgeous. And while 
running do here? Also, I got achievement for mining. There was just some weird pot in the ground. And I checked that out and uh, it was apparently mining. I didn't know I had that skill. Is this a mine? No! But I'm finding stuff. I guess you should explore in this game. Huh. Oh, don't do that. Ew! They always lick me. Oh, the whole forest is trying to kill me. Hmm. Phew. What is way shrine? Fast and in inexpes inexpensive way to travel. Okay. Okay. That helps a lot. So if I'll ever see them, I definitely should check them out. Okay, found more weird stuff. We are at the... Uh, there. Let's see what happens. Varieties of faith, the dark elves. Missing God. Oh, many gods. Okay. Have sack? Greens. I don't think I need those. Isn't this beautiful? Oh. I think it's pretty beautiful. I mean, check that out. Damn. Okay, here we are. And still looks so beautiful. Like, damn. Yep, it's right here. Is it in here? Yeah. My little Char's tower. I had to look that for a while. Oh, hello. Enemy? No. <laughs> it was player. It was player. Well played. What the? Such displeasure and disappointment. Nothing works, even though every calculation is precise. Now an interruption. How infuriating. Wait, wait. Sometimes the great gear turns from frustration to opportunity. Indeed. Divine energy. I'll have you know I participated in Lord Sotha Seal's nine analyses of the exalted enigmas. But we have more important matters. I'm about to determine the correlation between color and time, and I could use another set of hands. A reciprocal exchange. Interesting, yes. I can see the benefits of such an arrangement. Very well. Just activate the crystals in the proper sequence while I modulate the energy flow. Less chance of an explosion that way. Explosion? <laughs> <coughs> Oh, yeah. Not in the proper sequence. 
try again. Proper sequence? I actually should have probably read this. Come on. Okay, it doesn't help me. Right there. Let's see. Red. A good start nice. Yellow. Correct. So far, so good. Red, yellow, green. Red, yellow, green, blue. Very close. One more to go. And violet. Yes, I love it when the gears align. Wow, I actually did that on first try. Not bad. Oh. And you couldn't do it? Come on, man. Perfect. Such are the benefits of an extra set of appendages. The energy flows freely and without disruption, allowing the rods and the pistons to align in a most pleasing manner. <laughs> Thank you. Now, why do you want to know about divine energy? Oh, well. Scent. How intriguing. I was just thinking about my former master, Sir Basil, and the experiments we conducted. He desperately sought to understand the power he and his companions attained, especially whether or not that power was temporary. Not while I assisted him. He had a tool that he used to drain away minute bits of his own divine energy to store and study. He could extract it and return it as he saw fit. Not sure what became of the tool, but here are my notes from those days. More questions? Well, Lord Sofa Seal attributed curiosity to intellectual superiority. Suppose I should do the same. Ask, and I will attempt to tighten the cogs of your ongoing education as best I can. Odd question. Is a hammer a weapon? A saw? A Dwemer spring spanner? No, it was just a tool. A device crafted by Sofa Seal to aid in his endless experiments. I suppose I could imagine ways to modify the device, but for what reason? Hmm. Haven't a clue. Tools have a way of wandering off when you don't stay vigilant. True. My father used to swallow tools when I wasn't looking. Glowed for a month until the enchantment dissipated and the tool passed. I should have heard the screams. <laughs> oh, that quar. And all the way back. What the? Oh, it was a pet. Wait a minute, can you be in more than one guild? Outlander, over here. Oh, you're already here. This requires a considerable amount of effort, so just listen. We have a problem here. Return to my office immediately. You did that to just tell me that? I was gonna come out eventually anyway. Thankfully for this stone. Oh shit. What cost me now? Do I need to go here and then here? Probably. Okay, see you in the courtroom, I guess. Praise the sun. Okay, I'm finally here. Let's see what this old fart has to tell me. What the hell are you doing, man? At last. Did you see what's happening outside? Red Mountain rumbles louder and more frequently. The sky grows dark, and worst of all, the people are beginning to notice. 
Soon I'll have to muster the ordinators to keep them from the palace doors. Well, people need to know the truth, man. In part, Lord Vivek is not well. I won't allow his followers to see him in this state. He continues to lose energy, and it's becoming difficult for him to maintain the realm in his usual fashion. Now, what did your investigations uncover? I'll review these documents and present your findings to Lord Vivek. I was against bringing you into this investigation, but I was wrong. Thank you for aiding us. You should go see Lord Vivek now. He's been asking about you. I'll be along shortly. Well, thank you. Uh, probably not a good idea. I don't want to stress him more. And make him to hate me again. You really... <laughs> Some people's name is you really accept him? Stand aside! Lord Vivek is expecting me! What? Lord Vivek isn't receiving visitors today. The hell are you? He looks tired. My lord, please let me send for aid. Perhaps one of the healers can help you. Pain is best tolerated in private. As I have written in the 37th ballad, there must be something I can do. You can call the Archcanon. He should hear the news our friend brings us. Hmm. You're losing that energy fast. The river drains into the sea as my divinity flows out of me. Hmm. Need some work. As you can see, I continue to lose energy, and it has made me somewhat agitated. Have you made any progress toward discovering the source of my discomfort? An Ashlander? That seems unlikely, but I trust your instincts. We need to find out more about this Chodala and the ancient enemy that aids him. Take this. Another token of my appreciation. And look, here comes the Arch Cannon now. That's actually good. Thanks. My lord, the Outlander may have actually discovered something. Oh, come on. After further examination of the documents you brought back, I have to agree with your assessment. The Ashlander Chodala has somehow siphoned divine energy away from Lord Vivek. Not exactly. But now that we know that the affliction isn't natural, we can work toward a solution. One that probably involves Chodala's staff. How the Ashlander got his hands on Sothasil's tool and turned it into a weapon is beyond me, though. Eventually, but we need to be cautious. If Chodal is as respected as you say, attacking him would start a war we can't afford to partake in. Go to Aldrin and talk to his sister, Saren. I don't trust her either, but she worked with you before. Did she? I kind of did everything. Get to Aldrin and locate Saren. She needs to tell us more about Chodal and then help us acquire his staff. Without it, we can't restore Vivek. Meanwhile, I need to placate the populace. The people grow concerned over Vivek's continuing isolation. Didn't we cover this? Let me refresh your memory. Lord Vivek suffers stoically as his divine energy drains away. Neither my administrations nor his defenses have been sufficient to plug the hole. So we've isolated him to keep panic to a minimum. This is why we don't ask him more questions, he just gets annoyed. I kinda quest that. So, I'm not gonna answer anything else. I mean, question anything else. Well, this has been fun. But I'm gonna stop here. I can already tell that this isn't the game I'm gonna play completely to the end. I don't think this is gonna interest me that much. I mean, story is okay 
And the uh, graphics are okay. But the most important thing, the battles... I don't know, it doesn't feel too much, you know, action MMO RPG. It's probably not even meant to be. And that's pretty much what I'm in for. Mostly when I'm playing MMOs. So, for now I'm gonna stop here and uh, this game is now free to play, still for one day, but it's not gonna be after a while, so I can't even come back because I haven't bought this, I mean bought this. Yeah. So, thanks if you sticked up with me till this and uh, I'm probably gonna play something else now. So, thank you if you liked, enjoyed, or anything helpful. And leave a like, subscribe, and follow me. That would be really good. But for now, let's see you in another games. Bye.